uh, today I'm going to be showing you a few shortcuts to turn something maybe you've already got existing or maybe a Word document into a Google form. First of all, I'm going to show you how to change a Word document into a Google Doc. I have got here a Word document with an exam question on. I want to turn this into a Google form so that students can complete it and it will automatically be marked. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to turn this into a Google Doc. So very simply, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, my Google Drive. I am going to click New. I am going to click File Upload. I'm going to search for my Word document um, and then I We'll click open and it will automatically save as a Google Doc. Now, the reason mine automatically saves as a Google Doc is because in my settings, in my settings in general convert uploads, I have got my settings to com always convert it into a Google Doc format. Um, so it will automatically change from Word to a Doc. So it's a really simple, quick way of doing it. So while we're talking there, it has already become a uh, Google Doc. Here it is as a Google Doc. So here in add-ons, I've added a free add-on that will change my Google Doc into a Google Form. Okay, so I click on my add-ons. Doc to Form is the add-on. So what, um, how I got that was just go to Get Add-ons and there's loads of them. Okay, so here um, is where you can find your add-ons, okay? So if you just typed in Doc to Form, you'll find this one here which is the one that I've got um this one here is the one I've got installed the doctor form one okay if I move myself over you'll be able to see it better there you go the doctor form one that's the one I've got installed it's a free install okay there possibly is better ones out there but this is the one that I'm using today so when you install that um, it appears in your add-on list. So this one's Doctor Forms. So I create a form from the document. Now, because it's a free um, add-on, it'll only allow me to have 10 questions. If you paid for it, you can get more. Okay, it's optional how much you want to pay. So all you do is you highlight the um, bit that you want to turn into the question. So you select a test text to make my question. And I need the picture so I'm going to take a screenshot. Uh, you've got a snipping tool um, on your computer or I'm using MacBook, which is Control Shift 4. OK, um, there's different snipping tools out there. If you didn't, don't think you've got a snipping tool on your computer, just go into the start menu at the bottom and type in snipping tool. And it probably you have got one. You maybe have never used it. It's amazing. OK, so multiple choice. And my answers are A, B, C, or D. You just have to um, put them on different lines to make the multiple choice. Obviously, I'll carry on, add a question to add question two and so on. Like I said, it only goes up to question, 10 questions. But what you can do is make multiple forms. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Create form. Here we go. Success. View form. So once you've got your form, here it is. We can just retitle it. And I'll give it a better title up here. Here's my question. I need that picture in the question. So I took a screenshot of it so I can insert that image in. So got my question in there. I've got my answers A, B, C, D. Um, I can merge more than one uh, together. So by clicking import, I can select this another form here and then I can select which questions I want to import. Okay, so import questions. And there they go, they turn up into my uh, Google form. Okay, so by creating a Google form from a Google doc, which has been created from a Word document, you can use your existing resources to create something that can be assessed for the students. I'm gonna be showing you in another video, which is hopefully linked right here on this page, how to turn that Google form into something that's really powerful and how it can be used for um, assessment, but also to direct students onto their next step of learning. Don't forget Google Forms are such a powerful tool. So watch this video up here um, and that will show you how to now take your Google Form and make it a powerful assessment for learning tool. 
please check out some of the other CPD videos that I've made, including the ones on Google Forms, and subscribe to find out more. Mm -hmm.